one and all to my domain, a domain of mysteries and wonders beyond your wildest dreams, where I watch over those who reside within. At least, that's what you're meant to believe. But let me tell you, it's a special time of year, where I drop the happy, crazy, cute act and revert back to my oh-so-devilish charms. My name? Well, my real name you don't get to know. For now, just call me Kane. I'm the ringmaster of this place. What did I call it again? Ah yes, the amazing digital circus. But that's just a lie for those unsuspecting souls that end up here. Of course, they don't know that. They think everything here is real. And with a bit of demonic energy in one of my skills, it would appear so. I can remove certain memories of those souls and put them in, well, the palm of my hands. So what is this place if it's not a digital world? It's one of the circles of hell. The second to be exact, and it's my favourite place to spend time tormenting... Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Looking after those who live in this realm. There are a few of them. Jax, Kinger, Ragover, Zubal, The Abstracted. There's a lot of them. I like to keep them in the basement. It's fine. They like the darkness. It calms them. Well, only till I let them out to play. Then they become rather agitated and menacing demonic creatures, covered in bright glowing hypnotic eyes. Any soul they touch will start to become corrupted, and over time turn into one of their kind. That is, unless I decide to reverse the process, which I might do depending on my mood, and how many souls are in the circus. Maybe I should tell you more about these souls that come into this realm. Well, the details of why I won't go into, but I can tell you. Ah yes, a new soul has arrived, and it looks like she has taken on a form that suits this dark time of year. Even in the circles of hell, where time is different, I, the lord of this place, have taken a particular interest in the human event known as Halloween. Although, I did put my wicked twist on it. Instead of Halloween being on the 31st day, well, one day in the year, in this place, time goes differently. So I thought it would be fun to make it 31 years of Halloween every 100 years. Ah, but that's not what's important. I'm getting distracted by all the ideas I can do. For now, let's have a look at this new arrival. I'm sure you'd like to see what happens. Well, shortly we're going to see what happens. Each soul takes on a unique form. But of course, I set this realm up to remove the memories of who they are prior to awakening here. They still retain traces of their personality. It wouldn't be fun if we weren't able to mess with them. I take a certain delight in playing the role of the helpful ringmaster of this place, giving them adventures with a bit of a twist. Certainly, most of these adventures will eat away at their souls. I might throw in a sliver of hope here and there, but that just adds to the fun of the hunt, especially during this devilish time of, well, years. So for this one, I did try a couple of ideas before coming up with the design, and originally I wanted Kane to be sat on a throne in a pose befitting a ruler with the abstracted behind the chair and Bubble as this loyal servant somewhere. I wasn't happy how that's turning out by the time I got to the part of doing the line art and the inking. So instead I decided to do a pose where he was kind of like stood up in the classic anime, smart looking pose with a bit of a curve to him. And I think that came out really well. It was more gentlemanly, so it gave them more of the impression of a ringmaster who was trying to be helpful, which I quite like, and it showed a bit of confidence of the character in the pose. For the background, I went with a bit more detail than I normally do, mainly because there's a lot of elements I wanted to get into there. I wanted to get the abstracted, I needed to get somehow to get the teeth, that was his actual head in the Amazing Digital Circus in there with the eye. I decided to kind of have the large teeth going around him, the abstracted coming out from it, so it's kind of like a demonic gate for the teeth which would summon the abstracted or send them back to the basement. I do like how this came out but I wish I was able to do the original idea because what I had in mind looked really cool. I just couldn't transfer it currently onto the actual artwork that I wanted to do. Maybe I'll visit at some point in the future and do a one-off illustration or something. I did add a bubble into the mix of the illustration and I wonder if anybody notices it or sees where. A good contrasting tool is to do a opposite colour. So if you've got cool colours at the front, do warm colours at the back and vice versa. It makes the characters pop. There are a lot of elements on this, but the main focus had to be Kane. So hopefully I've caught his identity or persona as an overlord of this circle of hell.
look at this moment that she is about to awake in this place. Interesting how her form is that of, well, you'll see. Huh? You can't see her? She's right there in front of you. No, not there. You see that large stone structure? Yes, that's the one. The gravestone without a name. You see it? Good. Now look down. What can you see? Just wait for it. Well, wasn't expecting her to be underground, were you? The look on your face was priceless. That shock and fear. Well, how about that? Maybe you can become part of my circus in the future. But for now, meet Zomni. I know, I know, the name is simple, may not be too original, but I like it. And she won't remember her real name. So it's time for me to get to work. Just watch the show and enjoy meeting a new soul in this realm. Welcome, welcome to the amazing digital circus. It's Halloween season and you've arrived just in time. Come in and I'll show you about this place. Don't be scared, all right. Say, what's your name? My, my name? I, why can't I remember my name? It is, um, I feel like I know it, but I can't quite say it. Um, what am I going to do? That's okay. How about we just call you Zomni for now? Just because you look like a bit of a zombie at the moment. Well, to be fair, you are in the body of a zombie. A zombie clown, I think. A uh, zombie clown? And the name Zomni? Uh, okay. Am I really a zombie? I don't recall being a zombie or anything. And why am I covered in mud? Well, that's because look. Ah! What is, is, is that a grave? Wait, is that my, my, my grave? Relax, it's just a hole in the ground that you sprung out from. Not that it's an issue. You are a zombie after all. Coming out of the ground is kind of fitting for your kind. I must say, I'm a bit surprised you don't remember about how your kind comes out of, from a grave. I guess that means you're dead, or rather, Undead, which is perfect as it's Halloween time and spooks and ghouls come out to play. I'm the, the, dead? No, you're undead. Now let's go inside and meet some of the others who are here already before I take you on a tour of this wonderful place. Trust me, you're gonna die when you meet them. So for this one, I originally wanted to have maybe a half picture of Pomni coming out the ground from the grave. And I thought that'd be quite cool. But looking at reference images and that, I didn't think I'd do enough justice of the design for the character and catch all the essence. So instead, I wanted to change it to a pose similar to what I've recently done for the uh, Velocity Raptor Anosi on the channel as a witch. It did kind of work well. It had the reflective thing of the nervousness of Pomni in the reference image that I had. So I tried to translate that over along with a bit of a zombie color skin and to be honest, it did take a while to figure out what kind of skin I wanted to do. Zombies in anime have a combination of either green, purple, or bluish skin. I went on a hunt the other day for color references and created a load in the palette, which you'll probably see and bounce back and forth to for the skin colors that I use. But I think the colors I picked work rather well with the kind of dulled out but contrasting red and blue from the actual outfit of Pomni. I wanted to keep it quite similar to the original design, whereas, some bits could change a little bit just to make it more zombieified, which is quite cool. Although, I really hope you like how this one turned out. Meet the new arrival. Ragatha, are you not listening to me again? Oh, it's you, Kane. What are you doing now? Do you have another adventure for us? Or are you just wasting time with your antics? Ragatha, I think you're mistaking things again. I give you the adventures to stop you from abstracting. Even if you're in dead, the corruption can happen if you don't keep stimulated mentally in this realm. Corruption? What's that? Oh, nothing for you to worry about now. You're fine here, and you're new, so there's nothing to worry about. Ragatha over there is our vampire princess. She's just teasing you. She likes to get under people's skin and make their blood boil. She has a thirst for things like that. Anything blood related, really. Are you done? Don't mind her, she's cold like that. I'm sure she'll warm up to you, even if you're both undead without any real blood. 
but just bear with her icy demeanour and I'm sure you'll become friends in no time. Not that it matters, but I'm sure the others will hit it off with you as well. Hey you, zombie girl, what's your name? It's, it's Zom, Zom. Her name's Somni, what do you think? One of my best names so far. Wouldn't you agree? I guess it's not as ridiculous as some of the names you've given out before. Hmm, Somni. I guess that suits you. F thank you? No need to be shy. So you're a zombie, are you? Can't say we've had one of your kind before. Let's see. We have me a vampire, a puppet master, a jigsaw piece, a demented fluffball. Oh, and the mad clown, but no one's seen him in a few days. Come to think of it, your outfit's a bit clown-like. For a jester's. Maybe you'll get on well with him. My, my outfit? Kane said it was, but I hadn't really noticed. Why is it at this, um, what? Never mind about that. Here comes Jax. I'm sure he'll help you sell in a bit more. That's if you look past his, well, his aggressiveness. His, his what? So, I wasn't sure what monster characters I actually wanted for the Amazing Digital Circus characters in the first place. Did I turn them into... Werewolves, mummies, vampires, zombies, demonic creatures, some weird folklore type character. From the start, I kind of had the feeling I wanted Ragatha to be a vampire type character with the button pattern in, in or as a part of her eye. I thought this would be fitting for her and giving her a bit more of a colder and icy personality with a few hints of the kindness that she has showing through was a very nice touch. Of course, I wanted a pose that worked well with Vampire Princess and I found one that I think pulls it off. Even though it's more of an upper body shot, it kind of has a certain air to it. It's kind of like a misdirection of being an innocent and cute, even though she's quite cold, icy, and, well, blood-sucking. Not to mention, I really can't believe how well and how cool her eyes came out. I say eyes are the window to the soul, but, uh, yeah, I think I possibly did the most complex design eyes I've ever done so far on the one with the button pattern. I think they came out really awesome. But anyway, I hope you guys like how Ragava, the vampire princess, turned out. Well, 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 what did you all think of today's The Amazing Digital Circus as anime style monsters? I quite enjoy how the artwork turned out on this one and I hope you did as well. If you've got any suggestions for part two, then put them in the comments below. But if you want to see a part two, hit that like button. The more likes on this video, the more I know people want to see it. So if we could get to, I don't know, say 50 likes, then I'll do a part two, even if it's outside of October spooky month. And if you want to see more spooky Halloween content on the channel, why not click here?